So guys, how was your 4th of July? No, it was cool. They blew stuff up. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. Super colorful. Yeah, but 4th of July is over, so no more fireworks. Well, I do have all these fireworks left over from the 4th of July. Whoa, you have all these fireworks left over? Oh, dude, you know we gotta pop them. Well, let's go pop them, Junior. Let's go! What? The Just reminding everyone that lighting fireworks after the 4th of July is illegal, so don't do it. It's not worth the punishment. We can't pop fireworks after the 4th of July? I guess that does make sense. If you can pop fireworks every day, then the 4th of July isn't special. But we're still popping these fireworks, right? Of course we're still popping the fireworks, Joseph. But no, guys, we don't want to go to jail. We're not going to go to jail, Cody. How would the cops know we're popping fireworks? Yeah, how would they know, dude? Well, they have, like, satellites. Like, like NASA could tell them. NASA's not going to waste their time watching three kids pop fireworks. NASA's too busy trying to make sure the sun doesn't explode. What, they couldn't stop the sun if it did explode? And NASA's only job is to stop the sun from exploding. What, no. How would they even do that? NASA stands for not allowing sun exploding. Exploding starts with an E. No, it's called exploding because when the sun explodes, it's so astronomically big, it's called exploding. Exploding is not a word. Look it up, it is a real word because Axe Body Spray is sponsoring the sun exploding. What? No one's going to wear Axe Body Spray when the sun explodes. Then why'd they sponsor it, Cody? What, you, fight, let's just, uh, just do the fireworks. All right, guys, you ready to light this firework? Oh, yeah, dude. Ooh, the fact that it's illegal makes me feel so naughty. Light it, Cody. Hey, you guys don't touch my dad's lawn. Okay, light it, Cody. Cause, cause then, then I'll get in trouble. What? Oh my God. I said, don't touch my dad's lawn, cause I'll get in trouble. We're not going to touch his lawn. We're in the middle of the road, dude. Yeah, so my dad put me on neighborhood watch just to make sure nobody touches his lawn. We're not going to touch his lawn. So, what are you guys up to? We're about to light this firework. <gasps> You're going to light a firework after the 4th of July? But that's illegal! Yeah, well, we're going to do it anyway. Light it, Cody. But, but what if you get caught? Well, then we'll blame you and say you're the one that lit it. But if you do that, I'll call the cops. All right, listen. It's illegal to light fireworks outside, right? So maybe it's not illegal to light it inside a house. So if you let it, if you let us light it inside your house, maybe we won't get in trouble. You, really? It's not illegal to light it in someone's house? And you don't lie to him. I don't think it's illegal to light it in someone's house because if you light it inside a house, no one will know you did it, right? Yeah, it's like a private viewing, dude. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know what? Pardon my French, but what the heck? Come on, guys! What? You're gonna let us light it inside your house? Heck yeah, let's go! He's it's probably let's do it. He's an idiot, he's an idiot. <laughs> Alright, guys, be quiet. My parents are sleeping. Okay. The kitchen should be a good place to light it. Junior, we should tell him his house could burn down. No, he's an idiot. He's actually letting us light it in his house. Just light it, Cody, light it. Okay. Oh, back up, back up, whoa, everyone back up! Whoa, whoa. Everyone back up! Okay. Oh wow, look, it's so pretty. Yeah, it is. I think it might be hitting my ceiling. Yeah, it is. Uh, Junior, we should get out of here. Oh, let's go, go, go. Where are you guys going? <laughs> what? What? Honey, that's the fire alarm. Oh no, we gotta save my best lawn of the year trophies. What about our children? You go get the kids and I'll get my trophies. All right. Ah! Jimmy, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> that was so cool, guys. Oh, dude, that kid's an idiot. <laughs> Junior, you could have burned that kid's house down. Well, it would have been his fault because he's the one who let us do it. Well, Junior, you know how gullible he is. You took advantage of his innocence. Oh, look, it looked cool, didn't it, Cody? Well, it did look cool, but it was wrong, Junior. It was very wrong. Well, it looks like the cause of all the smoke was this firework that was lit in the kitchen. Yeah, we already knew that. Oh, well, I would suggest not doing that again because you could have burnt the house down. You hear that, Timmy? You almost burnt the goddamn house down, you fuckhead. Honey language. No, oh, fuck that! Timmy Fuckerdo over here almost caused a big fuck up in the kitchen. Parents, what happened? Your shithead brother Timmy over there let a firework in the kitchen and almost burned down the goddamn house. It wasn't me, father, I swear. Well, then who was it? It was, it was the three handsome neighbor boys across the street. Well, how'd they get in the house? I don't know, they, they, they broke in. You hear that? Three boys across the street broke into my house and lit a firework in my goddamn kitchen. Well, in that case, it looks like I have to make an arrest. Let me go put my cop outfit on. Timmy, since you didn't do it, you're not grounded. Yes! 
All right, guys, what do you want to do for the rest of the night? We could pop the rest of those fireworks we left outside. We could do that. All right, kids, you might be under arrest. It was them, Dad. Timmy, you fucking narc. Did you kids light a fucking firework in my kitchen? Well, uh, I mean, yeah, but Timmy said we could do it. No, no I didn't. Oh, Timmy, you liar. Ah. All right, that's assault. And I guess you kids are under arrest. You come with me. Oh, Timmy, I hate you. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Pooh Bear. And today we will be hearing the case of a most heinous crime. Junior Joseph and Cody, apparently you broke into Mr. Huckadoo's home and lit a firework after the 4th of July and then ran away like a bunch of hoodlums. So tell me why you did it. Tell me why you're guilty. Look, Your Honor, we did do it. J Junior, you're not supposed to admit it. Yeah, dude, what's wrong with you? No, look, we did do it, but the hucker dude's son, Timmy, he's the one who let us in the house and said we could light the fireworks in their kitchen. Hmm. Mr. Huckadoo, does this sound like something your son would do? Your Honor, my son would never do anything like that. He's an all-A student. He never breaks the rules. Hmm, sounds like a real square to me. Oh, I bet he's fun at parties. Junior Joseph and Cody, if his son is a square, what shape are you? Uh, a circle? Like a rhombus? Pentagon? Look, Your Honor, Mr. Huckerdoo does not know how much of a not square his son really is. Bring in the son. I will assess his squareness. Timmy, get your ass in here! What's going on, Dad? The judge wants to speak to you. One, two, three, four corners. Square. Squaresville. Listen, kid. Did you let those boys into your house to light a firework in your kitchen? And I'm warning you. Don't lie to me. I don't like liars. Have you ever heard of liar, liar, pants on fire? We can make that literal. Uh, uh, Go on, son. Tell the judge the same thing you told me. Uh, Before you answer, look into my eyes and swear on your father's life that what you're about to say to me is the truth. I swear on my father's life that I, I, I did let them in so they could light the firework in the kitchen. Tell me how could you? Your little blonde ass is grounded! I see. So you are not guilty of being a square. But you are guilty of breaking your father's rules, which is not actually a crime, but it does deserve a spanking. Junior Joseph and Cody, you still lit a firework after the 4th of July, which we all know is a very serious crime punishable by death. Well, why is it even wrong to light a firework after the 4th of July anyway? Because you scare my dog. And it wakes up old people. We have work in the morning. But fireworks are fun! Oh, really? Is there anything fun about this? Woohoo! So fun. Wait, Judge, you just lit a firework, so you just broke the law. You're right! My god, I've become my father! Somebody take this away from me! Oh, god. What? He's crying, dude. Yeah, his dad died from lighting fireworks after the 4th of July. I can't sentence you boys to death after I committed the same crime as you. How about this? How about we call it Even Stevens? Is that okay? I'll just let you off with a warning this time. Yeah. Sure. I... No! These kids need to be punished for what they did in my kitchen and for ruining my little Timmy! Oh my god, Hank. Stop being such a square. I sentence you to take a chill pill. Damn. You can't keep letting people get away without punishment! Oh, looky here, Hank. Look what I have found. Hmm. You have an unpaid parking ticket from 2004, so I could suspend your license for a year, or you could quit being a little bitch and pull the stick out of your ass, Hank. How about that? Uh, come on, Timmy. We gotta go. I can't lose my license, because I have to be able to drive you to soccer practice, or as the Italians call it, football. <laughs> All right, kids, run along, but never light another firework after the 4th of July again. Unless it's on New Year's Eve, that would be fine. Court adjourned! Come on, guys, let's go! Well, where are you going, Cody? No, sorry. Wow, guys, that was really close. We really dodged a bullet there. We just get by by the hairs of our chinny-chin-chins. Just by the skin of our teeth. Teeth don't have skin, Cody. Well, I don't know. That's just how the saying goes. But look, my point is we almost went to jail, so we shouldn't do stupid stuff anymore. Okay, Cody, we'll just sit on the couch and be boring. Hey, guys. What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? Well, I I just came by to say... Say it, shithead. I just came by to say that I'm sorry for lying and almost getting you guys sent to jail for the death penalty. 
Well, you're stupid because you snitched on us. But, Junior, it was our fault. But he snitched. Well, then he unsnitched. Okay, whatever, Timmy. Just leave. Oh, thanks. So, you guys want to come over to my place and play Seven Minutes in Heaven? Yes. No, you're grounded, young man. So, you get that little caboose behind this train and you tell your friends, see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Gotta go, buffalo. See you soon, raccoon. Be sweet, parakeet. Take care, polar bear. In a shake, garter snake. Hit the road, happy toad. Can't stay, blue jay. Bye bye, butterfly. Give me a hug, ladybug. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Time to scoot, little newt. Till then, penguin. Okay, I think you guys should just leave. All right, adios, hippos. That one wasn't even good. Hasta mañana, iguana. Okay. So, guys, what do you want to do tonight since we can't do anything fun? Let's go and pop them fireworks. Yeah, let's go pop them. No, guys. So, guys, what do you want to do today? We should stay inside and read a book. <laughs> Anyone else have any bright ideas? Well, we could go in the forest and light this firework. Oh, that would be such a cool idea! Oh, dude, we have to do that. That's fun! Uh, okay, hold on, guys. It's daytime, so you wouldn't even be able to see it. And also, it's the dry season, so we could cause a forest fire. And the firework is bent, so it won't even fly straight. It might hit somebody. Cody, are you a firework expert? No, but I have eyes, and I can see that it's bent. Then I don't want to hear your opinion if you're not a firework expert. I want to see your firework license. <sighs> All right, fine. Well, we're going to go light this firework, Cody. You coming? No, I'm not going. Wow, stay here and be a loser. Come on, guys. Loser. Okay, Jeffy, light the firework. All right, Junior, this is going to be sick. Yeah, dude. Oh, stay back, stay back, stay back. Oh, oh. Stay back, stay back. Oh, dude. Oh, it, it hit the tree. Oh, uh, dude. We just started a forest fire. Let's get out of here. Ah! Uh, uh. Jesus Christ, Simmons, there's a forest fire and there are houses around. Should we go in the houses and check for cats? No, I think we should focus on putting out the fire. You go get some bottles of water and start throwing them on there. On it. God, I really wish we had a real fire truck with water. We don't really get any funding these days. Okay, I'm going to call for backup. Hello, Chief? This is Station 4. Thank you, thank you. We need backup. Over. Yes, Lieutenant Guy. What do you need backup for? Yeah, Chief, I got a forest fire here, and you didn't give me a truck with water, so I don't really know what to do. Also, the Dalmatian you gave me is not a Dalmatian. He's just really cute, and all he wants is cuddles. To be fair, I don't know what the Dalmatian was supposed to do anyway. Well, what I would do is ask any nearby houses if you can use their water hose. And if that doesn't work, spit on it. Oh, yeah, I got it, Chief. Over and out. Thank you. Hey, mate, I found this lighter. A lighter? That means kids might have been playing with fireworks. Simmons, take that back to the police station and look for fingerprints. Screw this fire. We have a suspect to look for. Ah! What are we going to do? I don't know, dude. So how'd it go? Based on your reaction, I would guess not great. It went great, Cody. Yeah, perfectly fine, dude. Shut up. Yeah, shut your pie hole, Cody. So how'd it go? Why do you keep asking questions? Yeah, just shut your mouth, God! Yeah, you're acting like we started a forest fire or something. We did it! You're totally innocent! You know what? I'm gonna turn on the news just to see. Breaking news, okay? A forest fire is currently burning the forest. The cause is unknown. Please stay away from the area. Wow, looks like somebody started a forest fire. I wonder who did it. Dude, they're totally on to us! What are we gonna do? Ow! Shut up, Joseph. No one knows we caused that forest fire. Oh yeah, we totally did not cause that forest fire. Technically, it was the fireworks fault. <gasps> it was the fireworks fault. It wasn't our fault. So you guys did start the forest fire. No, Cody, tell us whose fault this is. We took a firework into the woods and we lit it, and then it blew up randomly and then made the forest catch on fire. Randomly. Well, you guys lit the fireworks, so it's not that random, is it? Well, we didn't want it to go in the forest. We lit it so it'd blow up in the sky. It curved and went into the woods. It was bent. I told you that was going to happen. So everyone who buys a firework is supposed to bring you with them to tell them not to do it? There are warnings on the fireworks. Well, no one's going to read the warning. They're just excited they have a firework. They just want to hurry up and light it. And we're kids. I think they just assume it's common sense. Well, I don't have that. I know. So look, I think we should sue the firework company for making fireworks to begin with. Dude, that's a genius idea. I think you guys should just stay quiet because nobody knows you started the fire. But if you try to sue somebody, they're going to find out. Well, no, if we sue them first before we get arrested, then they're going to get in trouble because we could sue them because why would they even make something that explodes? That's dangerous. And that's stupid. So we should sue them. We'd win. we get more money. Then we buy more fireworks. Then we cause more forest fires. Then we sue them again. Oh, the infinite money glitch. Oh, we got to do it before they patch it. Yeah, infinite money glitch. Okay, you guys can just do whatever you want. I'm going to stay here. Okay, I'm going to call a lawyer. 
Hey there, you called a lawyer for some legal advice? Yeah, we did. Well, I want to let you know that I charge $10,000 a minute, so start talking. We don't have that kind of money. Well, then I'm leaving. Oh, no, 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 don't leave. We know your son Richard, and he said that you'd be our lawyer for free. He said that? He sure did. I'm going to beat his ass. Richard, get your privileged ass in here. Yeah, Dad, you told me to wait in the Lamborghini. Do you know these poor people? Hey, Richard. Hi. I've never seen him a day before in my life. Okay, good. You lied to me. Well, no, we didn't lie to you. We, we know him. Look, here's what's going on. They started a forest fire by lighting some fireworks in the woods, and now they want to sue the fireworks company for making fireworks. Uh, ow! We didn't start the fire. Someone else did. It was a friend of ours. A friend of theirs started a forest fire. I see what's going on here. First of all, you can't sue the firework company. And what I would do is, I would hide, and I wouldn't say anything to anybody. There, there's your free legal advice. See, Junior, I told you. Why would you tell him that we started the forest fire? Now he's gonna go tell the cops. It was pretty obvious. No, you should have said our friend caused it. Oh, we're, we're, we're gonna go to jail now. We're so going to jail. Hey, Susan, can you run the fingerprints on this lighter for me? All right, let me see. Trying to figure out who started this forest fire. Oh my God, it was you! Oh no, Mike, get in here! What's up, Simmons? I was putting my cop outfit on. It was me who started the forest fire! His fingerprints were on the lighter! Simmons, how could you? I don't even remember doing it, mate! All those poor wild animals! Simmons, I'm so sorry, but I hate to do this. I have to arrest you. I understand, mate. I deserve it! Wait a second, are you wearing gloves? No, no I am not. Hold on, there's a second set of fingerprints on here. Enhancing, enhancing, bingo, Jeffy, age 18. Oh, that makes way more sense, Simmons. I was with you the whole time. It couldn't have been you. You should just wear gloves next time. I'm gonna go arrest Jeffy. Freeze, Jeffy, you're under arrest for starting that forest fire. See, Cody, I told you that lawyer snitched on us. Well, nobody snitched, except for his fingers, because we found his fingerprints on the lighter. Well, if I chew him off, you won't have any proof. Hey, hey, hey you me can't me do me that. Me Spit me your fingers me out. Me Stop me eating your fingers. Damn, Pooby, you have a hairy arm. I sure do. And it's right up my ass. Well, Jeffy, have fun in jail. What, Junior, you and Joseph helped? Ooh, you dirty cracker! Yeah, you stupid honky, why would you tell him that? Oh, we gotta stick together, bro. Yeah, brothers gotta protect each other. What, you guys were really just gonna let Jeffy go to jail? When the pinky gets gangrene, you cut it off to save the body, Cody. Wait, hold on, you're saying these two kids also started the fire? Yeah. Well, no, listen, it was my idea to shoot the firework off in the forest, but I didn't light the firework, he lit it. But I, I also provided the firework, and Joseph... I ain't do shit. I'm out! Uh, it's true. He really didn't do much. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess you and Jeffy are under arrest then. Well, I want to sue the firework company for inventing fireworks. W what? Okay, look, let's just go to jail and we'll let the judge sort it out. Yeah, let's, let's let him sort it out. Order, 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 order. I am Judge Poobat, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy and Junior. These two boys are being accused of starting a forest fire and killing chipmunks and squirrels and lizards and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. You boys, why did you start this forest fire? Did Smokey the Bear teach you nothing? Well, you see, Your Honor, it wasn't our fault, it was the fireworks' fault. Yep, it was the fireworks' fault. Go on, please continue. See, Your Honor, what happened was we took the firework into the woods and we lit it and then it flew in the woods and caught on fire. So my argument is, is that if fireworks were never invented, then that we could have never gotten one and then it would have never caught the forest on fire. So we want to sue the creator of fireworks. I see. So you boys are going with the insanity defense because, I mean, you must be stupid to think you could sue a firework for blowing up. I mean, that's like me going to a restaurant, ordering food and choking on it and then suing the restaurant because I didn't chew my food. That's that's like me hiring a prostitute and then her giving me herpes and me suing her because she gave me herpes. I mean, I knew the risk and that's just, that's a memory I'm going to have to live with and my burning urethra. So you two boys are going to have to live with the consequences of your actions the way I live with my herpes. Now, you two are obviously guilty, but what punishment do I give you? Hmm, let me just check the punishment book real quick. Oh, there it is! Screw you, forest haters! I sentence you to plant one tree, and I sentence you to one night of community service with police supervision. Uh, officer guy, you accompany them. Uh, can't do that, Judge. The heat game's tonight, so you're gonna have to find someone else. The heat? Oh, you're going to supervise these kids, or you will spend the next month in jail. That's an order. No Knicks! Oh, you look like a Knicks fan, you bastard. Come on, kids. Ruining my night. 
Ugh, I hate you kids for ruining my night. Hey look, Cody left us a note. I know you guys are going to jail. Call me when you get out. Love, Cody. That was nice of him. Okay, kids, here's the deal. See, you guys are supposed to plant a tree tonight, okay? But fuck that. Mr. Beast already planted like 20 million trees, and I'm pretty sure he's got you guys covered. We're just gonna say one of those trees was yours. Now, you guys are also supposed to do community service tonight, and I'm supposed to watch you. But see, here's the thing. <laughs> the only thing I'm watching is the heat. See, because when we win this game, we're gonna go on to the Eastern Conference Finals, and then I get to wear this shirt. See that? Hemi stands for Hemi Butler. See, what he does is he whips out his ball sack on the court, and he rubs it on people's faces while he's dunking on them. But I thought we were supposed to do community service. You are doing community service. You're helping a police officer watch the Heat game. Thank you for your service. But, like, aren't we supposed to, like, tell the community that we're sorry? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell them they're sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say that by playing the game sorry while I watch the Heat beat this sorry-ass team. Like, who even are the Knicks? You really thought you could beat Jimmy in your dreams, New York? But aren't we supposed to pick up trash on the interstate? What, the only trash that would be on the interstate is if the Knicks' bus broke down on the way home. Well, like, we can't go pick up trash outside? What, no, because there's no TV outside and I couldn't watch the Heat game. Aren't we supposed to, like, go clean up the forest? Well, okay, you guys can just do whatever the hell you want. Just don't tell the judge, okay? I'm gonna watch the Heat game. Hey, Junior, you wanna go outside and light more fireworks? Yeah, let's go do it! Oh, thank God they're gone. Ooh, the game is starting. What? what? Breaking news, okay? A second forest fire has started, and this one is so bad that we will have to interrupt the Miami Heat and New York Knicks game with around-the-clock coverage. Sorry if you're trying to watch the game. You won't be able to. <laughs> uh, we kind of just started another forest fire. Yeah, I know. I just saw it on the news. That means I don't get to watch the Heat game. Bam out of bye. No! For anyone who didn't get that, there's a guy on the Miami Heat whose name is Bam Adebayo. You know, Bam Adebayo, Bam Adebayo, no. it's a pun. Hey Marvin, you know how I said I would cook you dinner tonight? Yeah, what'd you cook me? I made you pizza rolls! I thought you said you were going to cook me dinner. I did, Marvin. It was so easy. I put them in the microwave for 30 seconds, and when they were done, the microwave went beep! It's so cool! Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I'm gonna go make some more! <sighs> Let me try them. It's still frozen. <laughs> hey, my bibs, can I borrow $500? See, I really need some money, but I don't want to get a job. I just want to sit back and collect cash. <laughs> my bibs, did you hear me? I said I need $500, and I don't want to get the job. <laughs> oh, so you just gonna sit there and ignore me? Well, then forget you, my bibs. <laughs> <laughs> you saved my life. I did? Yeah, I was choking on a pizza roll, and you did the Heimlich maneuver. I didn't lick your hiney. Well, no, no, you stopped me from choking. Dougie, what can I do to repay you? Oh, uh, you can give me a million bajillion dollars. I don't have that kind of money, Dougie. Oh, I wouldn't give me $500. I don't even have a $500, Dougie. What, is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, so I sat there, and I recognized that you was choking. I said, oh, no, my bibs is choking. My best friend, I got to save his life. So I went over there, and I licked your hiney. And you can't even give me $500 for saving your life. I don't have that kind of money. Is there anything else? Like, is there anything else you want that I can do for you? Well, I do want some fried chicken Cheetos. You want some fried chicken and Cheetos? No, there's this new special edition Cheeto that tastes like fried chicken, and I really want it. Can I go to the store and buy it? Yeah. Okay, see, that's easy. I can do that for you. Thank you for saving my life. I'm, I'm gonna go grab them right now. Thank you, my dips. Okay, Dougie, I got you regular and flaming hot Cheetos. Where's the fried chicken Cheetos at? I couldn't find those. All right, well, next time you choke it to death, you won't be able to find me. Well, no, look, Dougie, I got you two bags of Cheetos. Oh, so you think your life's only worth two bags of Cheetos? You think my life's only worth one bag of fried chicken Cheetos? Yeah, because I've never tried them before, and I really, really want to try them. Are you sure they even exist? I looked up and down the aisle. I could not find them. Yeah, my bitch, look. Hey, right here. What, what kind of language is that? Cursive. That, that's not cursive, that's another language. It's like Arabic or like Chinese or something. Well, listen, I really want to try the fried chicken Cheetos because I bet they taste so really good. Well, I don't even know if those are real. Look, how about this? There's a number on the back of the Cheetos bag. Call that number and let's ask if they exist. Okay, hopefully I get to talk to Chester Cheetos. Just call this number. Okay, Mobibs, it's making some type of ringing sound like... 
That's what a phone does, Dougie. Hello, thank you for calling Cheetos Corporate. I hope you're having a dangerously cheesy day. Anyway, what can I do for you? Can I speak to Chester Cheeto? Ooh, he's in his office right now. Sorry. What? Give me the phone, Dougie. Hello? Hi. Listen, we just want to know where we can get the fried chicken Cheetos at. How do you know about those? You, you know what? Let me call you on my cell. He just hung up on me. It's ringing again. Hold on. Hello? Hey, I went to my car. I would get executed if they heard me talking about this. It's top secret. So, the fried chicken Cheetos were made in Thailand, but it was a mistake. The company tried to destroy all the bags of them, so there's only a few left. And I know who has them, but it ain't cheap. And he's weird, man. Like, sometimes, I send him pictures of my feet. Okay, so... Can I get some fried chicken Cheetos? Can't talk! I just tracked your address on my laptop. I'll send them your way. What? Hello? So am I gonna get the fried chicken Cheetos or not? I, I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh, okay, you know what, Dougie? I'm gonna go answer the door. If you hear me scream, call the cops. Hi, right, folks. Uh, hello? Hello, I am the Prince of Dubai. My name is Prince Abu Dhabi. But you can just call me friend. And this is my camel, Kamil Habib Habob. Kamil as in camel, Habib Habob as in corn on the cob. You know you don't have to say that every single time I say your name. Well then you don't have to ride on my back. You have to fit at work. You are a camel, it is your job. It is not my job to carry you. It is my job to carry water in my hump, not your lazy ass. You do this every time and embarrass me in front of my friends! <coughs> Don't you hit me, I'll hit you back with my hoof! <laughs> That's it! I kill your family! Okay, 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 calm, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. What, what is going on? My friend Jonathan, who has very sexy feet, by the way, he tells me you're looking for something that I maybe have, eh? Do you have fried chicken Cheetos? I do! I store them in Camille's hump! Well, can I possibly buy them? Hey, let's go upstairs and talk business, baby! Oh, okay. I told Camille to wait outside so he is not blabbering the whole time. So, you want these fried chicken Cheetos, huh? You like this shit, huh? Oh, my man, fuck, you got the Cheetos! Oh, yeah, I know, that's exactly what we need. How much can I pay you for them? Oh, see, I don't accept money because I am very rich. I'm a billionaire, but I do like to trade. You like to trade? Well, I can trade you two bags of Cheetos for your one bag. See, I own the gas station you bought those Cheetos at because I like sell oil and stuff, so no. Okay, I can trade you these pizza rolls. Ooh, I don't like pizza rolls, so no. Well, I don't really know what else I could trade you for them. Marvin, the microwave's not working. I pressed the popcorn button and no popcorn came out. Well, did you put popcorn in the microwave? No, I put the pizza rolls in. That is the prettiest man I have ever seen. What? That's not a man, that's a woman. There's no way. Women aren't allowed to show their face or their feet. And those are the sexiest feet I have ever seen. Well, this is America. Women can show off whatever they want. Okay, I would trade you one bag Cheetos for your whore. What? No! No, she's not a whore. She's my wife. Okay, okay. How about two bags of Cheetos for your whore? I am not selling my wife for two bags of Cheetos. Thank you, Marvin. How about two bags of Cheetos and $100 million? Well, uh, yes, I will, yes. What? No! Marvin! Well, it's a hundred million dollars, baby! Okay, come on, whore, let's go. What? No! But your owner sold it to me. Owner? L listen, listen, in America, we don't own people. Listen, you can't buy her for a hundred million dollars, no matter how much money you offer me. Oh, come on, she'll have her own litter box at my house. See, in my country, women have the same rights as house cats. Plus, she'll be the prettiest of my twelve wives. You have twelve wives? Oh, yeah. Okay, listen, what other things could you want besides my wife? Well, I guess I could go for some slobbering on the knobbing. Oh, come on, baby, I won't even count it as cheating. For $100 million, you can slob on his knob and we get $100 million and two bags of Cheetos. No, Marvin! No, 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 no. See, I want you to do it, my friend, because you know how to make it feel good, and I want your mustache to tickle my tent. Come on, Marvin, $100 million and two bags of Cheetos. Ugh. Oh. Okay, for a hundred million dollars, I'll do it. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I never said about the hundred million dollars for the knob slobbing. Only the two bags of Cheetos, my friend. Okay, I'm not sucking knob for Cheetos. You can forget it, buddy. Listen, uh, is there anything else you want? Like, like, you can't get my wife, you can't get knob. Listen, what else do you want? Well, there is one thing, but it's impossible. What is it? I want Chester Cheeto to be my pet tiger. He's a cheetah. Yeah, same thing. Okay, I don't even think Chester Cheeto's real. I think he's just the mascot. Well, that's your issue to figure out. Okay, there's one person I think I can call to make this happen. It, 
Just stay right here. Just don't leave. Just, ugh. Okay, I'm calling the Cheetos corporate number. Please answer. Hello? Thank you for calling Cheetos corporate. I hope you're keeping it dangerously cheesy. Hey, it's me again. Oh, hey! Did my friend come over? Yeah, your friend came over, but he's not accepting money. He wants me to trade him something. Ooh, he asked you to slob on his knob, didn't he? <laughs> Classic Abu Dhabi. Yeah, listen, he wants me to bring him Chester Cheeto. Ooh. Well, for you, I guess I can give you his address, but I warn you, he's in really rough shape. Yeah, please just text me the address. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Now that's what I call dangerously cheesy. Hey. Huh? Who are you? How'd you know where to find me? Listen, Chester, I got a friend that really wants to meet you. You the cops? No. Hit that shit, man. Uh, no thank you. I've already had a lot of Cheetos today. Oh, hell yeah. More for me. Uh, it feels like my heart's about to explode from all the cheesiness. Just, just one more. Uh, I'm king of the world. Listen, Chester, I have a friend that really, really wants to meet you. Oh, yeah? He got Cheetos? Oh, yeah, he does. Hell yeah, man. He even got, you know, fried chicken flavored Cheetos. What did you just say? He has fried chicken flavored Cheetos. The damn Cheeto company tried to take them all away from me. Tried to destroy every bag because they were so damn good. Man, I would slob on some knob for some fried chicken Cheetos. Well, he definitely got the Cheetos and the knob. Well, take me to him. You're going to have to hold my hand, though, because I'm blind. You're blind? Yeah, what do you think I wear these glasses for? I thought you wore them because you were cool. Nah, I'm blind as shit, man. Okay, come on. Okay, friend, here's Chester Cheeto. Oh, my Allah, you have brought me Chester Cheeto. What's going on, party people? Listen, Mr. Chester Cheeto, I have been your biggest fan for very many time, and I would love it for you to be my kitty cat. Sure, man, I don't give a shit, as long as there's those fried chicken Cheetos for me. Well, the problem is I promised my last two bags to these people. Ah, no deal then, man. But I'll tell you what, I would slob on some knob for some fried chicken Cheetos. Deal, 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 deal. Screw these people and I hope their mothers get banged by very many men. Bye. What the hell was that, Marvin? Do I not get the Cheetos? I guess not. Listen, I felt very bad about saying your mother should get banged by very, very, very many men. So I decided to bring you one fried chicken Cheeto. But don't tell Jester. Well, Dougie, it looks like you get to try what the fried chicken Cheeto tastes like. Oh, I've waited so long for this. I finally get to try the fried chicken Cheeto. Mm -hmm. Ew, it tastes like shit. I'd rather have the five hundred dollars. <laughs> Booker! Bad Booker! Let go of the pillow! Marvin! Oh, what's wrong, baby? Booker's destroying the pillow! Oh, bad Booker! Stop the Jeffy! What's up, gang? Your damn dinosaur won't stop chewing on the pillow! Stop him! Bad Booker! Bad, bad, bad! Okay, we're all just yelling at him. Jeffy, grab him! Let's go! Uh, Booker, no bite in the pillow, okay? Oh, just bad bit Booker, me! Stop he it bit right me! Now. Oh, no. No. Oh, he just bit me! Marvin, what's gotten into Booger? He's been destroying everything lately. Oh, I don't know. He just bit me. We should call a vet and see if he has mad cow disease. Um, Daddy, Booger's not a cow. Well, I know, Jeff. I just want to make sure he doesn't have rabies. I'm calling a vet. Hey there. Somebody call a vet on his lunch break? See the chicken leg? I put this chicken down an hour ago. The family's still crying, but I told him, don't worry. Mr. Cluckins is delicious. So what do you want? So vet... Do I call you vet? I don't know. Can I call you unemployed bald man? Well, listen, look, I have this pet dinosaur and he won't stop destroying stuff and acting crazy. We don't know why he's acting like that. Uh-huh. Well, I'm not an expert, but it seems to me like he's a dinosaur and that's just what dinosaurs do. But I, I want him to act like a house cat, you know? I want him just to lay around and sleep. Well, you know what they say. You can't turn a whore into a housewife, so why would you be able to turn a dinosaur into a house cat? I think that's how the saying goes. Look, my main point is my first wife was a whore. Marvin, maybe Booger's lonely and we should get him another dinosaur friend. Oh yeah, two dinosaurs. That seems like a good idea. You know, because the first dinosaur is destroying everything. So yeah, a second dinosaur should even things out. This is turning into Jurassic Park. Well, baby, I don't even know where we would get another pet dinosaur from. Well, I guess you could always get a portal gun that'll open a portal through time and then just grab a dinosaur out of the past. But I don't know where you'd get one of those, so don't even ask me. Yeah, baby, I don't know what we're going to do. You know, actually, my great-grandfather was a tinkerer. He would tinker from time to time. And I think one time he tinkered up a portal gun like that. I think I have it laying around the attic somewhere.
So can we have it? Mm, I guess I can take a look for it. Here, hold my chicken leg. Ooh. Don't bite it, it's mine. All right, I'm back. Behold, Ow. the Portal Gun 5000. This bad boy can open up a portal to any place and any time, but it doesn't have very much juice left. I think we only have one shot at this. Okay, so what's the plan? Okay, the plan is I'm gonna open up a portal up there. Then we're gonna take some kind of food and tie a string to it and throw it through the portal and go fishing for a dinosaur. Why don't we use your chicken leg? Oh, I wanted that. Okay. Hey, lady woman. Um, Rose? No, that's a kind of flower. Okay, what you're gonna do is tie a string to that chicken leg. Right now? No, two years from now. Go! Fine! Really? You picked her to be your wife? What's the rest of the plan? Okay, so what we're gonna do is whenever she gets back eventually with my chicken leg with a string on it, we're gonna throw it through the portal, and whenever we feel a tug on the string, we know a dinosaur's biting it, then we just yank the dinosaur through the portal. Why don't we just go in the portal and grab the dinosaur ourselves? Are you kidding me? I don't want to go back to dinosaur times. It's scary. What if we get stuck there? There's no McDonald's or Hulu. Okay, your plan's good. Okay, good. Where's my goddamn chicken leg? It's right here. Okay, good. You hold on to that. Ugh. Okay, let's make this portal. Everybody stand back. <laughs> oh, bugger, come back! Oh, cool, it actually worked. All right, throw the chicken leg in it. Okay, give it to me. Okay. Give it to okay. me. Okay. All right, now we just have to wait for something to pull on the string. Whoa, whoa, that's a big one. Oh, man, whatever dinosaur this is must love chicken. Whoa, Marvin, he's fighting me. Help me. Uh, 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 he's pulling really hard. Yeah, I know. The way he's pulling, you'd think he was my ex-wife. You know, because she's fat and she loves food. Pull! Uh, 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 where'd he go? Ooh, 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 that chicken was good. He can talk? Huh, I guess when scientists found dinosaur fossils, they didn't find out if they could talk or not. Can you guys please give me some old chicken? Please. Well, you're hungry? Oh, I'm so hungry. All I've had today is a Happy Meal. A Happy Meal? So they did have McDonald's back then. I guess we can go to KFC or Popeye's. <gasps> oh, the KFC or the Popeye's. Yeah, but the reason we brought you here is because we have another dinosaur that we want you to hang out with. Oh, is it my cousin Pookie? Because his ass owe me five dollars. I, I don't know if it's a Pookie, but, but Booker, get in here. <laughs> oh, here you go, Pookie ass. You owe me five dollars. <laughs> Don't you run away from me, Pookie! You know you owe me money! Uh oh, so, so that is Pookie? Yeah, yeah, that Pookie right there. Uh, okay, well look, how about we'll go get you some KFC or some Popeyes and you can eat that, but we need you to hang out with Booger and teach him how to act right, okay? I ain't no babysitter unless you're gonna pay me some money! Oh, uh, we'll pay you in chicken, so. Okay! So all you right. teach Booger how to act normal and I'm gonna go get you some chicken. Alright. Okay, well, I did everything I came here to do, so I guess I'm just gonna take my Tinker gun and go home. All right, I got you a big bucket of KFC chicken. Ooh, thank you so much. You're so good to me. What's your name is, white boy? My name is Marvin. Oh, Marvin the Chicken Man. What's your name? My name is your boy, Dougie. Dougie? No, your boy, Dougie. I have to say that your boy part every time? Yeah, or else I ain't gonna know who you talking to. All right, your boy, Dougie. This is your bucket of chicken. Oh, my chicken. Thank you so much. You got anything to drink? Uh, yeah, let me see what I got. All right, the only thing we had to drink was grape Kool-Aid. Oh, the Kool-Aid! Is it good? Yeah, it's good. I mean, I don't know. Look at the ingredients and see if there's anything you don't like. Ribble flat bills. How about I make you a glass of it? All right. All right, here's your glass of water. Wait, wait a minute! You already ate all the chicken? Yeah, because it was really good. Can I please get some more chicken? Maybe try the Popeyes. What? No, you're not getting any more chicken. You still gotta have some Kool-Aid. Oh, that purple is Kool-Aid! Yeah, I'm gonna pour some in the cup. All right. All right, now, drink that. Oh, that was so good. Can I have some more? Well, you haven't finished the glass yet. But I still want you to put a little bit more Kool-Aid in there. Oh, you want more Kool-Aid? Yeah. All right, that's enough. Can you put a little bit more in there? Well, I don't want to overflow it. Well, I want you to do what Olive Garden does when they put the cheese on the salad. I'll tell you when to stop. Oh, okay. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, this seems like it's a lot. No, please keep going. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't think I don't think we should put any more. No, keep going. I ain't tell you to stop yet. Uh, I don't want it. It's gonna, it's overflowing. It, All right, that's good. Okay, that's good. All right, yeah. there you go, your boy Dougie. There's right. your Kool Aid. Thank you so much. Now I'm gonna go get Booger, so or or your your cousin Pookie. Just don't make a mess. But Booger, stop it! All right, your boy Dougie, can you please stop Booger from being a bad dinosaur? How's I supposed to do that? I don't know, he destroys stuff and I want him to stop it. I mean, I could try. Hey, stop it. <laughs> well, I've done all I could do. Hey, Marvin, you mind if I get some more purple Kool-Aid and some fried chickens? No, no more Kool-Aid and fried chicken until we stop Booger from being bad. Hey, Danny, can I play Call of Duty? But no, Jeffy. No Call of Duty until you finish your chores. Well, I don't want to do 
about my chores? Go do your chores, Jeffy. Aw, what's a Call of Duty? It's a video game that Jeffy plays, like a shooting game. Well, can I try to play it? I mean, are you a dinosaur? Can you even play it? I mean, I can try. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, Mo, look, I'm so good at the game. Bow, 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 bow. We, really, we really need to focus on Booger. Marvin, can I please have the map pack? What, how much are the map packs? $20 plus tax and fees. Ugh. Look, here's my wallet. All I want you to do is grab my credit card out of it. And all you can do is buy the map packs. Do not buy anything else but the map packs. You hear me? Okay, you can trust me. All right, Booker! <laughs> I'm about to go shopping, boy. I'm about to give me some new shoes. I'm about to give me a chain. I'm about to give me a hat. <laughs> Your boy, Dougie, don't take his wallet. Uh, Booker, stay still. Stay still. Ow, oh, he just bit me. Oh, Booker, I'm looking clean, boy. What? Your boy, Dougie. Huh? Well, where'd you get all this stuff? Your wallet. What? My wallet? What? How much were those shoes? 500. What? 500 what? Dollars. What? 500 dollars? How much was that chain? Three stacks. Three stacks? Like Oreos, double stuff. Well, I told you only to buy the map packs. Oh, I forgot about the map packs. Well, let me get those real quick. No, 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 you gotta go. Where, where are we going? No, no, not where are we going, where you're going. You're going back to prehistoric times. I don't wanna leave here. I get fried chicken, I get Call of Duty, and I get purple as Kool Aid. Yeah, but you overstayed your welcome. You're supposed to help with Booger. Oh, you need help with the Booger? Yeah. Here, get that Booger out. But no, no, the, the dinosaur. Oh, you mean Pookie Ratchet ass? Pookie, get in here, boy. <laughs> Man, stop being a dickhead! Whoa. I did what I could do. Well, no, 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 I am calling the vet and you're going back. Hey there, you call me back? Ask me about the bacon. Why do you have bacon? I just put down Porky Pig, so ba -dee -ba -dee -ba -dee, that's all, folks. Well, listen, I want the second dinosaur to leave. Oh, how about that? The second dinosaur was a bad idea. Who could have seen that coming? Well, listen, this dinosaur is not destroying stuff. He's just spending my money and mooching off me. Yeah, it sounds like my first wife. So, look, I want him to go. So, can you, like, grab that portal gun, make a portal, and we throw him back? You know, what we should have done is done that to begin with and have no dinosaurs because dinosaurs shouldn't be pets. Okay, yeah, you know, if you make a portal, I'll throw both dinosaurs in the portal and we won't have any more dinosaurs. Okay, well, lucky for you, I already brought my portal gun because I thought this might happen. All right, so, so make the portal. Everybody stand back! It, it's, it's not working. Well, shake it till something comes out. It's not my wiener. That's, that's an old vet joke. I'll try again. Nope. Nothing's happening. I think it's out of juice. Well, we'll tinker with it. Make, make something happen. Hey, I'm not the tinkerer my great-grandfather was. I can't just tinker a, a portal gun like this, okay? Well, tink of something. <laughs> That's a good one. But no, really, I can't fix this. What, so I'm stuck with him? Yeah, it looks like it. Ooh! Where am I going to sleep? Well, no, no. Can I take him to, like, the pound or, like, like let him loose outside? No, 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 no. If anybody found out what we were doing here, I'm pretty sure the CIA would kill us. Dinosaurs are not supposed to be here. And, and besides, you can't just let him loose in the wild. What if he mates with a goose or something? You have, like, a dino goose. Nobody wants that. Okay, so I have to stick with it. He has to stay here? Yeah, at least until we make another portal gun. <sighs> okay, your boy Dougie, you get to stay here, but there's going to be some rules. Okay, what type of rules? All right, well, you're going to help with Booger every day. What? No more tissue box, no boogers, your stupid dumb cousin Pookie. Okay, well, I ain't doing nothing for Pookie until he give me my five dollars. Oh, okay, I'll get you your five dollars, okay? That's fine. So, so what do dinosaurs eat? Um, people. Okay, yeah, yeah, how about you just eat chicken every day? Would that be good? Okay, I love me some KFC, and I love me some Kool-Aid. Okay, so you get chicken and Kool-Aid, but you'll help with Booger, I mean Pookie, mm -hmm. every day. So, mm -hmm. thank you, Vet, thank you for trying. Can you just see if you can get the portal gun to work in the future? I, I guess I'll try. Well, baby, it looks like we have two dinosaurs. At least Pookie has a friend. Well, don't call him Pookie! Oh, Marvin, I still need the Matt Pet. <sighs> So, guys, what do you want to do tonight? Oh, dude, let's throw rocks at cars! No, Joseph, you idiot. It's dark outside. How would we even see the cars? They have headlights, dude. Well, that's more of a morning activity. But I always sleep in. I'm gonna miss it. Well, you have to get up pretty early in the morning if you want to throw rocks at cars. Oh, fine. So, guys, what do you want to do at night since it's dark? Ooh, 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 ooh. I know, I know. We should watch a scary movie, and then whenever I get scared, you can hold me, and then kiss me, and then caress me. And then just kind of see where it goes from there, man. I think we should just turn on the TV and see if we can find something fun to watch. Okay. Hey there. Do you love french fries? Well, a new McDonald's location is opening up. And if you're the first customer in line, you can win free french fries for a year. Whoa! Free
free french fries for a year? Dude, that's a lot of fries. I'm homeless. It'll feed me for like a whole year. Guys, guys, guys. We should totally go to McDonald's right now to guarantee we're the first people in line. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's totally do it. Cody, you coming with us? No. What? Why? Come on, dude. I just don't really like french fries that much. Oh, my God, Cody. Are you literally the lamest person I've ever met? I think so, dude. Are you Dr. Lame? In the flesh. Cody, why don't you want to wait in line with us? Well, it just doesn't seem worth it to wait in line for hours just for french fries. It doesn't seem worth it, Cody. We could make so much money from this. Listen, listen. What are french fries made out of? Uh, potatoes. What are mashed potatoes made out of? Potatoes. What are baked potatoes made out of? <sighs> potatoes. So we could go to McDonald's, get our french fries, right? Our free french fries, and then we could go turn them into baked potatoes and sell them. Wait, you can't bake fried potatoes. Oh, okay, Cody, then fine. We, we'll, we'll go to McDonald's every day and get a hundred free orders of french fries, and we'll go around driving around and we'll sell them. Wait, no one's gonna want to buy cold french fries from your car. Well, we'll turn the heater on. Well, they're, they're still gonna be stale and gross. No one's gonna want them. Cody, we'll literally be a McDonald's on wheels. Wait, uh, yeah, a McDonald's that only sells french fries and nothing else. Well, that's the only thing people want is french fries. That's why they're giving them out for a year. Yeah, it's not like they're a burger place or anything. Okay, come on, Cody. At least come stand in line with us. Okay, look, I'll tell you what. I will stand in line with you, but as soon as I get bored, I'm going home. So what are the odds that you, like, stay the whole time? Zero percent. That's not happening. I like that percent. Yeah, the odds are in our favor, dude. All right, guys, let's go to McDonald's! Yeah, let's go! Guys, I can't believe it! We're first in line at McDonald's! Oh, dude, I can't believe it either! We're actually first! I can't believe it. Really? You can't believe we're the first people to wait in line all night just to get french fries? Cody, stop being a pout-pout fish. Yes, yeah, sour coward. What, what the hell are you talking about? Cody, you're being all sad and mopey. Do you not understand we're gonna get free french fries for a year? 365 days, dude! Yeah, that's enough fries to fix your eyes. Fries that'll tie your tie. Fries that'll stop your cries. Fries that'll keep you from being shy. Shies? Uh, it was close, dude. Really, guys? Is this what we're gonna do for eight hours? Just make fry rhymes? Okay, we, how about we play I Spy? I Spy with my little eye. He's wearing glasses. He's a dork. He's ugly. Well, okay, you know what? I didn't even want to come here. You're right. It was you. Oh, he's good. Okay, fine. You know what? I have one. I Spy with my little eye. A colossal waste of my time. Your life? What? No, no. Don't, don't. Okay, I have another one. I spy two idiots who are wasting their night just to wait for french fries. Oh, that's us, that's us! Oh, he's good. Yeah, that's right, you win. Okay, oh, wait, Joseph, what? stand right here. Well, why, dude? I want to be first. Oh, no, 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 I want to be first. No, 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 it was my idea, so I get to be first. No, I was first first. No, 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 I want to be first. No, no, dude, get, 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 spot. get where you belong. Wait, what do you mean by that, dude, huh? Because it was my idea, so you got to be right there. But no, you white people always think you're better than us. No, huh? no, it's my idea to get french fries. You can't, you don't even want french fries. No, you know what, screw your fries, I'm out of here. Dude. Well, good. Leave. I don't want you here anyway. Now you. What? Don't you dare try to skip me. I'm not gonna skip you. I don't care. Are you sure? Yes. Don't you try it. I'm not gonna try it. I have the high ground. I don't care. What? <sighs> How much longer do we have to wait? About eight hours. Damn. Yeah, damn. I know. Eight hours? Yeah. I'm starting to get tired. You wanna go home? No! We need to be first in line to get the fries. <sighs> I'm not yawning. I'm just... Oh, my phone's ringing. I don't hear anything. Uh, it's on silent. Then how did you hear it? Uh, hold on, Cody. Chef Pee Pee's calling me. I have to answer it. It might be an emergency. Hello? Chef Pee Pee? Yeah, it's me, Junior. What's wrong? You sound upset. What? What? Why, why are you yelling? You need me to go home right now? But but I'm at the McDonald's waiting in line with Cody and... Uh, really? Right now? Okay, let me tell Cody. Jesus, I hope you have Apple Care. Oh, uh, look, Cody, I have to go home right now. But why? Be because Chef Pee needs me to clean the entire kitchen because I spill apple juice everywhere. Junior, if you're leaving, I'm leaving. No, 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 you have to hold our spot in line. Someone might take it. Junior, no one's going to take it. Look around. There's no one for miles. Well, look, there might be a guy in that bush over there, and as soon as we leave our spot, he's going to come take our spot in line, and then he can get all the free french fries. Junior, I'm pretty sure nobody else even knows about this damn french fry deal. Look, Cody, just just take, just hold, just wait right here for five minutes. If I'm not back in five minutes, you can leave. Really? No, 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 I need you to wait the whole time. But look, look, just give me an hour. But an hour or two? Jesus, Junior, did you spill a whole uh, orchard's worth of apple juice? What's an orchard? It's where they grow apples. What? what it's, yeah, that's what... But look, just make it quick, okay? Oh, wait, just, just wait right here. Do not leave. Don't leave the spot in line. I'll be right back, okay? Just, just wait right here. Don't leave no matter what. Even if someone tries to take a spot, don't leave. Hurry up! Where the hell is he? Oh, come on, Junior, it's been hours. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call him. Come on, Junior, answer! Hello? Junior! Huh? Wait, to Junior! Wait, what are you doing? Wait, Cody? Yes, where are you? Is it French fry time? What? No, it's not French fry time! Wait, then why did you call me? B because I don't know where you are! You were supposed to be back hours ago! Oh, I'm, uh, I, uh, I'm still cleaning the orange juice. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Earlier you said it was apple juice. Huh? When you said you had a mess to clean, you said it was apple juice. Oh yeah, it's both. 
What? what? Yeah, it was um, it was, it was apple juice, orange juice, grape juice. It was a whole. It was a bunch of fruit juices. Uh, Junior? What? What, Cody? What do you want from me? What? what where? Where? Where are you? I'm. I, I'm. I'm cleaning up the mess. Well, hurry up and come back. Okay, just give me a few minutes to get up from the ground because I've been wiping up the juices so much with napkins. Hold on. Speaking of napkins, Shavibi, can you get me more napkins? Dang it, Junior! You you took all the napkins. You don't know we can't afford napkins. <sighs> Junior, that's the worst Chef PP impression I've ever heard. What are you talking about, Chef PP? Listen, Cody, listen. I'm, let me just get up, okay? Why, why do you keep saying get up? I'm tired from cleaning, and I took a quick, a quick nap on the floor. A nap? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Do not leave the spot, okay? I'm on my way right now. I'm getting, look, I'm running. Uh, you don't sound like you're running. I'm out of breath. J Junior? Huh? Junior! I'm in the car. You're not in the car. I'm going through a tunnel. I'll there are back. no tunnels on the way here. J Junior? Junior! J uh, ju ju uh, hey Cody, how you feeling? I think I'm dying. Man, I had the best sleep of my life in my nice warm bed. Yeah, I bet you did. What's wrong with you? I've been standing here for 12 hours, Junior. I'm exhausted. No one tried to skip you, right? No, no one else cares. No one else is even in line. Can you please just take my spot so I can go home? But I really have to go pee. Well, why didn't you just go at your house? Because I didn't have to go then. Look, what? I'm gonna go pee in that bush over there. Well, why can't you just wait for them to open and then you can use their bathroom? When are they gonna open? Any minute now. Look, I'm gonna go pee in the bush. Just, just wait right here. You've been waiting all night. You can wait one more second. <sighs> just hurry up. Congratulations, boy! You're the first one at McDonald's! Uh, uh, me? No, no, no. Actually, my friend Junior over there peeing in the bush, he, he was actually first. Well, you're the only one here, so you get free french fries for a year! But no, J Junior was actually first. Well, get a picture with me, boy! Come here! This boy loves his McDonald's! I, I don't actually like it that much. But Cody! You stole my free french fries for a year?! But no, Junior, I tried to tell him that Why, you, you thief! You thief! You stood here just so you could get the french fries! You knew how much this meant to me! Well, Junior, I don't even want your damn french fries! We're not friends anymore, fatty! What, well, Junior, come on! Well, boy, how does it feel to get all those french fries? Well, you know what? It actually feels pretty good. I, I want the fries now. God, I hate Cody so much. Some friend. Junior, you're being ridiculous. Cody, go away. I hate you. Why? Because I waited 12 hours in line for you to get your stupid fries? No, because you took my spot so you could be the first customer. I didn't take your spot. You had to use the bathroom. You made me have to use the bathroom. But how? You put some weird voodoo witchcraft spell on my bladder that made me have to go pee at bad times. What, Junior, do you even hear yourself? You sound insane. Cody, you took my spot and you took my french fries. Look, I don't even want the fries. Take the stupid card. No, I didn't earn them. But yeah, we all know that. I'm the one who waited 12 hours hours in line. You take that back. What What are you talking about? That's just a fact. You know I couldn't wait in line. Chef PB needed me to clean the whole house. Okay, I know that's bullshit. What, would Chef PB tell you I wasn't actually cleaning? But no, he didn't have to. Oh, Cody, listen. I don't want those stupid dump fries because you stole them from me and I want to be able to call you a thief. Well, okay, fine. Then I'll just take the one free medium fry a week for myself. What? Oh, you didn't know? You don't get unlimited fries for a year. You only get one free medium fry a week for one year. So it's not all you can eat french fries? Nope. That's gay. Yeah, I know, but that's what you get, and I'm gonna take it. Well, no, no, actually, I, I want the fries. No, 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 you said you didn't want the card, so now I'm gonna take it. But it's only one free medium fry. You might as well just let me have it. No, and it's gonna be the one best free medium fry of my goddamn life. Well, Cody, God, I hate you. Hey there, is this your friend? That's Joseph. Yeah, I caught him throwing rocks at cars. <laughs> Specifically my car, while yelling, take that, you stupid pig, and F12. Joseph! Dude, I told you I was gonna do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him off with a warning this time. I'm in a good mood. Stupid pig. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Did you get your fries, dude? No, Cody stole them from me. What? Yeah, yeah. Me and Cody were waiting in line at McDonald's for the french fries, and Cody was like, I don't wanna go home. I don't wanna stand here anymore. And I said, Cody, calm down. I'm about to get my french fries. And then out of nowhere, I start hearing, it was a baby kitten in the middle of the row, and there were cars coming. So I said, Cody, wait right here. I'm gonna go save this kitten, and I ran. And Cody was like, no, don't save the kitten, let it die. And I said, I'm not gonna let this kitten die. So I go in the middle of the road, I grab the kitten, I dodge a semi-truck, I dodge another truck, <laughs> and I jump, and I toss the kitten into a pile of feathers, and, then, and the kitten survives. And then I get back in line, and Cody had stolen my french fries. They thought he was the first customer. What a conniving little bastard he is. Yeah, Cody's Something friend, huh? huh? Hey guys, check out my free medium fry for the week, and I didn't even have to pay for it. You know, because it's free. You can't!
painkiller! What? What's he talking about? Cody, how's your medium fry? Oh, they're so good. Hold on, let me just get one. Oh, 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 oh yummy fries. Oh, was it worth the life of a kitten, though? Wait, what? I don't understand this kitten thing. Somebody needs to explain that. Just worry about your stupid french fries, Cody. Yeah, why did you only get one, though? Oh, you didn't tell him? Oh, you don't get unlimited fries. You only get one medium fry a week for a year. Wait, you can't get all the fries you want? Nope. Huh, gay. Yeah, that's what Junior said. Yeah, just don't worry about your stupid fries, Cody. We don't want to be your friend anymore. Okay, fine. I'll eat my fries, and I'll see you guys next week with my next free medium fry. Oh, I hate Cody so much. Yeah, I do too. Okay, Joseph, what Lego set should we build now? Um, I'm not sure, dude. Hey, guys. Whoa, that's sick. Cody, what Lego set should we build? Uh, this one, the Pod Racer. <laughs> now, this is Pod Racing. <laughs> you remember he says that in the movie? Wait, I'm confused. That's Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. And that's Padme. Uh-huh. And they get married? Yeah. But he's a little kid. Yeah, I know. It's weird. She's a grown woman. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. How does that work? I, I don't know. It's kind of gross. Wait, where's your free fry? I thought it was Friday. Oh, it is. But I decided to give my free fries this week to my hot date. Ken? No. Oh, it's someone else. Get in here. Hey, guys. What, Penelope? I thought you were dating Ken. Oh, I am. But what? I can't take Penelope on a free medium French fry date? Cody's getting me free French fries. Medium French fries. Can I get a drink, too? <laughs> no, I didn't get free medium drinks every week for a year. But what if my mouth gets dry? Well, you can quench your thirst with a free medium French fry. Okay. You're so lame, Cody. Yeah, well, that may be true, but I have free medium French fries for a year. Come on, babe. Let's go. Let's go with this one. Okay, Joseph, what game do you want to play? The Oregon Trail or Cubert? Um, let's see what Oregon's talking about. Hey, guys, happy Friday. You're not getting tired of French fries, Cody? Oh, no, Junior. How could I possibly get tired of these delicious free medium French fries? You can't hate it when it's free. Can I have one? Sure, just for $1 per fry. What, $1 per fry? Why? Well, because I'm selling them, like you said. I'm starting my own potato company or whatever. That only works if you have unlimited French fries. Well, it's kind of like having unlimited, except I only get one medium a week for a year. But that's still a lot of french fries. Well, I'm not gonna buy your stupid french fries, Cody. Why don't you just try to redeem them all at once? I don't think they'd let me do that. Wait, would they let me do that? Wait, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. <sighs> I'll play Cubert. This stupid packaging, Joseph, I can't open it. Yeah, me either, dude. Hey, guys. Did you get all the french fries? No, they told me to read the card, and the card says one free medium order of fries every week up to a year. So I just gotta take it one week at a time. They wouldn't let you get all the fries just right now? Nope, so I'm just gonna have to have one box of medium free fries every week. You're really gonna get it every single week? Yes, I am. Every week, I'm gonna have a box of fries, at least once a week. No, really, I'm really gonna do that. Every single week, I'm going to have a box of fries with me. And if you don't see me with a box of fries at least once a week, then you can yell and scream in the comments and be mad at us. But I'm going to do it. I'm really going to do it. Yeah, we'll see, Cody. Hey, Nanny, what do you call a nose that's 12 inches long? What? A foot. <laughs> Very funny, Jeffy. Dang, can you go in your store and buy me a Rumacube? What? A Rumacube. Are you saying Rubik's Cube? No, a Rumacube. Jeffy, it's pronounced Rubik's Cube. No, it's a Rumacube. Marvin, you know what he means. Stop agitating him. I want him to say it right. Rubik's Cube. Rumacube. <sighs> I'm not going to buy it for you unless you say it right. It's a Rumacube. Go buy me a Rumacube. Marvin, just go to the store and get it for him. Okay, fine, Jeffy. I'm going to go buy you a Rubik's Cube. Rumacube. Okay, there's the Rubik's Cube that Jeffy wanted. All right, Jeffy, here's your Rubik's Cube. Hey, that's not a Rumacube! That's not what I wanted! Yes, it is, Jeffy! That's a Rubik's Cube! You're just saying it wrong! I never said I wanted a Rubik's Cube! I want Rumacube! Aw, Marvin, he said Rubik's Cube right! Wait, so you're not saying Rubik's Cube? No, I want a Rumacube! What the hell is a Rumacube? You don't know what Rumacube is? No, I'm gonna take you to the store so you can show me! Great! All right, Jeffy, show me. Show me what it is that you wanted. Right here, Daddy. Rumacube. Rumacube. I thought you were saying Rubik's Cube wrong. Why, Daddy? Because I'm slow? Yes. <laughs> so, Jeffy, that's what you wanted, right? Yep. Do you even know what it is? Yeah, it's the original Rumacube. Brings people together. Classic. Okay, Jeffy, if I get this for you, you're not getting anything else, okay? All right, Daddy. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, let's go. More right. Squishy AF. Dang, dang, dang! What, Jeffy? Can I have one of these? No, I'm already getting you the Rumacube. Well, I want both. Choose one, Jeffy. Rumacube or whatever that is. Rumacube. All right, come on, let's go. 
What is that, Marvin? Rumacube. You mean there's something actually called Rumacube? I've never heard of it in my entire life. See, I told you guys I wasn't saying Rubik's Cube. Jeffy, did you gain some weight? B says what? I know you ain't talking about my fupa with your ass. Jeffy, it does look like you're getting fatter. It's called a thyroid problem, okay? I'm going through a little bit of a hormonal change. It's what's causing me to gain weight. Or maybe I'm pregnant from when you screwed me in the store and said I couldn't get a second toy. Jeffy, language. I'm sorry, Mother. I'm just going through all these hormones as a teenager, and it is making me gain weight, and I'm a little bit sensitive about it. Jeffy, do you have something in your shirt? Strong, maybe. Let me see. Oh, yeah? Birth? Huh? Jeffy, did you steal this from Target? No, nope. it jumped in my shirt and ran away. So you stole it? No, Daddy, you bought me that forever ago. Baby, did we buy this from a long time ago? I don't know, Marvin. He has so many toys. And you have a lot of toys, too, Mommy. I heard you playing with Buzz Lightyear and Woody the other day because I kept hearing Buzz Lightyear go, bzzz. I don't know. Okay, Jeffy, so you promised me you didn't steal this. Strong, maybe. Jeffy? Um, no, I didn't steal it. You bought me that forever ago. Okay, are you ready to play Rumacube? Honestly, Daddy, I don't know what Rumacube is. I just heard someone talk about it the other day, and I said, I want that. And now that I see it, I don't want that. I'm actually going to go chill on this in my room. Baby, do you want to play Rumacube? Okay, Marvin. Ugh, squishy AF! I'm so glad I stole it. Ah! It's so squishy and soft. Oh, lay on it. Oh, this would be so amazing if I could have my entire bed covered in these. If I could go back to the store and get enough of them to cover my entire bed, that would be so pee pee. Daddy, we gotta go back to the store. So, baby, how do we play this game? I don't know, Marvin. I just followed the pictures. Dang, dang, dang! We have to go back to Target right now. Why? We, uh, we, 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 we don't have Cheerios. Yes, we do downstairs. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Nope. Je Come on. Nope. I'll show you, Jeffy. Nope. Come on. Look, Jeffy, there's Cheerios right there. That box is empty. No, it's not. Check. It's barely full. No, Jeffy, there's so many Cheerios in there. Well, those are stale. No, they're not. Just eat them. But, but Jeffy, what are you doing? Whoops. No, it I need to go to Target. Ugh. All right, Jeffy, we'll go get you new Cheerios. Come on. No, Jeffy, no. We're going to the cereal aisle. No toys. All right, Daddy. Give me one second. Hmm, what kind of Cheerios does Jeffy like? All right, Daddy, I'm ready to go. What kind of Cheerios do you like, Jeffy? Oh, um, it doesn't matter. I'm ready to go. Okay, I'll just grab these. All right. All right, Jeffy, there's your Cheerios. Go eat them. I'm not really hungry right now, Daddy. I'm actually kind of full. What? Jeffy, do you have something under your shirt again? No, this is my belly. I just didn't shave today. Oh, birth. Jeffy, did you steal this one? Daddy, I am not a thief, and I'm getting tired of you accusing me of stealing things. You bought me this forever ago. Then why was it under your shirt? Because I like the way it feels on my nipples. There, I said it. Is that what you wanted to hear, Daddy? My potty mouth? It just seems weird that it keeps being under your shirt. Well, leave me be. Something weird's going on. What's it? <laughs> Squishy! Oh, this is the life. Now, if I could just get like one, two, three, fifty more, then that would be complete. My entire collection on my bed. But I can't fit fifty of them underneath my shirt. I can only fit one at a time. So I have to take a lot more trips back to Target. Daddy! Daddy! Smell my breath. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jeffy, why's your breath like shit? Don't tell anyone, Daddy, but I got a chocolate factory in my pants and it just keeps producing chocolate. Yummy. You've been eating your own poop, Jeffy? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, you have to go brush your teeth, Jeffy. Well, I would brush my teeth, Daddy, but I don't have any toothpaste. You have toothpaste it's in the bathroom. Well, I took that toothpaste and I squeezed it all in the toilet. Why? Because the toilet smelled bad and I was trying to clean it and I wanted it to smell like mint. You did not do that, Jeffy. I did, Daddy. I'm a stinker. Oh, my God, I'm going to go check. Jeffy! Huh? You really poured all the toothpaste in the toilet? Yeah, that or we got a Smurf shitting in our toilets. But you might want to call the police if that's the case. Now we're all out of toothpaste. Darn, looks like we need to go to Target. Oh, come on, Jeffy. <laughs> no, Jeffy, no toys. We're only here for toothpaste. Okay, Danny, I'll meet you over there in a minute. Hey, you like Squishmallows, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. I see you lifting your shirt up. Uh, you trying to rub your wiener on it? Because uh, between me and you, it feels pretty good. But anyway, yeah, these things are really popular. I mean, they sound like hotcakes. We just can't keep them on the shelf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, you have a good day.
All right, Jeffy, here's your toothpaste. Go brush your teeth. All right, I'll get right on that. Jeffy, what is that? It's my big rainbow wiener. No, Jeffy, it's one of those stuffed animal things. Don't do that, Daddy, it might spit. Jeffy! Jeffy, did you steal this from the store? No, Daddy, it's my package. I was born with it. I'm a shower, not a grower. Jeffy, you keep coming up with new ones. Where are you getting these from? These are mine that I've always had. You bought all of these for me forever ago. Jeffy, go brush your teeth. All right, Daddy. No, you gotta grab the toothpaste, Jeffy. I'll use the toothpaste that's in the toilet. Yeah, hell yeah. Now we're cooking. Squish, squish, squish. This is actually gonna take a while. Montage time. Daddy, we ran out of toilet paper. Target. Daddy, Target. I did it. My whole bed's covered in squish mellows. Oh man, baby, I'm so tired. I'm sure, Marvin. You've been to Target like 30 times tonight. Well, Jeffy kept asking for stuff. I know, Marvin. Just make a list before you go next time. Hey! What? Uh, but Target guy, what are you doing here? Yeah, that's me. I'm mad. How long were you here for? Long enough. Where's your son? I need to talk to him. He's in his room, I think. Well, he's about to be in jail because he's been shoplifting from my Target. What shoplifting? What did he shoplift? We had an entire aisle of Squishmallows, and I thought they were selling like hotcakes. And then I go to look at the sales record, and it turns out we haven't sold any at all because your son has been stuffing them in his shirt and walking out the door. I knew he was doing that. Oh, so you knew he was doing that? That's why you kept bringing him back to Target? What? No, he was distracting me by asking for single items at a time. Okay, yeah, well, your son's going to jail now. Uh oh. Don't he, you don't have to arrest him. How about I just pay for him? Okay, yeah, that'll be $1,000. $1,000 for stuffed animals? Well, look, man, I don't make the trends. In the 80s, it was Beanie Babies. In the 90s, it was Furbies. Now it's Squishmallows. It's what people want. Well, I'm not going to pay $1,000 for stuffed animals. Well, we also accept ducks. We accept ducks and we accept goats. You can pay in livestock. We use the barter system at Target. What? I can pay with live animals? Yeah, if you got live animals, you can pay with that. They, they actually do that at Target. Look it up. You can actually pay with live animals at Target. Go ahead. I'll give you a second to Google it. You idiot! Why would you actually believe that? Have you ever seen a duck at Target? No, where would they even put them? Come on, come on, do better. I mean, think about that. That's stupid, right? If you fell for that, subscribe. If you didn't fall for it, like. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and do both. It's, it's January. We're starving over here. So, uh, listen, how about we just return them? Well, no, 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 that's, that's not gonna work. See, people do unspeakable things to Squishmallows. Like, they, they rub their wiener on them. Not, not me, like, I would, I would never do that. But, like, people who have done it say that it feels really good. But I, I wouldn't know, because I, I, haven't, I haven't done that. So, like, you can't return them, though, because nobody wants a wiener mellow. Okay, listen, I'm sure Jeffy hasn't done that to him yet, so how about we go check him? Mm, okay, we can check him, but I'm gonna smell him, and if I smell wiener, you owe me $1,000. Uh, okay. What? Look at all these Squishmallows! Oh god, I'm so mad. I mean, I knew he stole them, but see him all here like this? God, it makes me so mad. Why does your face look like that? Because I'm mad. This is my mad face I make when I'm really mad. Jeffy, where are you? Right here. Jeffy, did you steal all these Squishmallows? Mm-mm. Liar! I see them all right here! Jeffy, we know you stole them. Why'd you steal them? Because I wanted them. <sighs> Can you smell them to make sure they don't smell like wiener? Oh, yeah. No wiener. Okay, no wiener. Wiener and poo poo, and I see the poo poo right here. Jeffy, did you wipe your butt with this? Oh! Why? Because it felt good on my ass crack. Jeffy, you're supposed to use toilet paper. Well, this is better than toilet paper. Have you ever seen those toilet paper commercials? They're called Charmin, and it's a big bear, and he has crusty crumbs on his butthole. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. Those are weird. Like, the papa bears get a poopy butthole, so the baby bear has to be like, hey, you idiot, use Charmin instead, so the papa bear can wipe his butt good. It's weird. Okay, so all the other ones don't smell like wiener, right? No, I think they're fine. They even got the tags on them. So the only one I have to pay for is this one. How much is this one? It's like 40 bucks or one pigeon. I don't have live animals to pay with. All right, 40 bucks it is then. Okay, so I'll pay you the 40 bucks for this one. Now I just need to give your son a stern talking to about stealing. Hey, stealing is wrong. You know, if you steal again, we're going to cut your hand off like they almost did in Aladdin. You got it? Yeah. That's right. All right, now load these into my car. My wiener is so itchy. All right, Jeffy, let's start loading these in the car. Did you learn your lesson today? Um, I think so? What was it? Um, don't steal and only use these to wipe your butt. No, 